Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. And if you're new, welcome. Um, so today I'm gonna do another set of the St. Patty's Day nails or St. Patrick's Day, however you wanna say it. Um, they're gonna be green and um, green and black actually. And then I'm gonna use rhinestones and some little roses and um, probably some green foil that I came across looking for my green rhinestones, which I did find finally, thank God, because I didn't know where they were. I knew I had them. I just didn't know where they were. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoy. And if you do, please like, comment, subscribe, share. And um, yeah, so let's get started. All right. So um, these are full coverage tips and I'm going to be using, these are from McCart. Um, the Nail Artsy Collection. They came in a subscription that I got about a year ago, so I am not for certain if they still have these or not, but um, I'm gonna use these ones today, and they're all a number five. And these are not prepped, they're not scuffed, nothing's going on with them, they're just gonna get painted, they're just for doodling, because um, they're not going on anybody, so I'm not gonna spend time doing all that prep work. Okay, so what we're gonna do I'm going to use um, Beetles. This is the black polish that I love. This is an A220 and um, works really well. So I'm going to do one coat on these. I'm going to see if I can get away with the one coat, which would be fabulous, but I don't know. Every day is a different day and you just don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so I'm going to paint these real quick. Well, I shouldn't say real quick, you know. Polishing uh, takes just a couple minutes, of course. So we'll get those, or get this going. Um, and then what I wanna do is show you how to do certain designs with rhinestones or just glitter. So I've got a few different brands here that I'm gonna be using. That is still crooked. All right, well, you will get the gist of it. So I always try to do a thin coat of black. I don't care what brand it is. Um, if you go too thick and it doesn't cure properly, you're gonna get wrinkles. And then on top of that, it will um, wheel. Mm -hmm. It will, um, kind of bubble up and start peeling if you're real lucky. Yeah, I'm being sarcastic. So yeah, black, the darker colors can just really kind of play games like that. But black is notorious, which sucks because I love black. So it's the beginning of the week, it's Monday, and we woke up to snow again, which is what happens. So I live in North Idaho, and um, it is just, uh, I don't know, <laughs> summer lasts for like three weeks and then winter lasts for 10 years is how it feels, but it's always been that way, and I love it here. I wouldn't change it for the world. But I just, yeah, I'm ready for spring. I'm excited to set the clocks ahead. I know some people are thinking, oh, heck no. But um, I know Arizona, I don't know the other state. Um, they don't do that time change. And I just wish Idaho would uh, set the clocks ahead like we're going to. Leave it alone and let it be. Sign the papers. Whatever it is that needs to be signed to drop this time change thing, this is ridiculous. I think that is part of the issue as well with winter time. It just seems like it's dark so long. Four o'clock in the afternoon, the sun goes away, and then you might see it if you're lucky. I don't. We don't have a lot of sun during the winter, but maybe seven, eight o'clock in the morning. But now that spring is coming, it's starting to stay lighter longer and get lighter earlier in the morning. Thank God. 
I noticed it fit. It affects people's moods as well, especially mine. I know on sunny days, even if it's cold outside, I it just makes me, I'm just a cheerier person. Whereas on dark, dreary days, man, I'd rather just stay home, stay in bed, not even bother. Okay, so these are coated. And I do think that one coat is going to be enough. Okay, so I'm going to pop these in the lamp. And I'm going to do these for 60 seconds. All right, so these are cured. And then we're gonna, let's see here. Uh, let's see. So um, I want to do a sugared nail. And I'm just, I'm trying to make sure that all this green matches because I, I feel like the last video I did, the um, green didn't match all this well. So um, anyways, this is the green I'm gonna use to um, sugar the nail. And I don't even know if this company is still around. This is kind of embarrassing. I've had this forever. And um, I don't believe glitter goes bad. So I am going to use this. But before I do, what I'm going to do is paint. Peppa, I can't talk. Um, I'm going to put a top coat on. And I use the shiny. I absolutely love this stuff. So we're going to do this first nail. We're going to sugar it. So do not pop this in the lamp after you put the top coat on because you want to sprinkle the glitter on and you want it to stick. And then I am not putting a top coat on it. I'm just, after the glitter, anyways, I'm gonna let that be. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love this green. I need to get these out of the way because we don't want everything sugar coated. Okay. All right, and then we just rotate that. And this little catcher this little glitter catcher. I got this off of Shein a while back. I don't know, probably a year ago. Honestly, I don't remember when. Okay, so now, ooh, glitter everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna pop this one in the lamp. I'm gonna do this for 60 seconds. Look at that green. Oh, I love it. Okay, pop that one in. I'm gonna set the glitter aside. We'll clean that up in a minute. All right. So, like I said, I've got a couple different brands that I'm going to be using. Oh my gosh, I'm covered in green glitter. Okay. All right. I put cuticle oil on, and now it's just like, it is there. Um. All right. So, this was another green I had. This is an emerald green. Um, Savvy Land. This came in a kit. This one came off of Amazon again. It was a while back, so I don't know the exact, um, I don't know what it's called. I just know it's in a kit, but look at that chunky glitter. That is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to find a brush, hopefully. Yep. This is sad. I tried really hard to be prepared, and I am everywhere. All right, so I'm just gonna use, this is just like a little dotting tool with a little brush on the, the end. So we're gonna take some of this. And I wanted the black base, because I just think sometimes black just really helps colors to pop. Okay, so this is a little chunky, like I said. So we're just gonna move it around Oh my gosh, look at the greens in that. Oh, so pretty. I'm 
Try to keep it on the nail. I've got it everywhere. And if I remember right, the price wasn't too bad on it. And the colors that came are just, oh my gosh, they are so, so pretty. And it's a good size um, jar, in my opinion. So this is going to go on, and then I'm going to put this in the lamp for 60 seconds, and then we'll come back. I'll probably top coat this with um, Enel Couture's Dom Coat because it is a thicker no-wipe top coat, and it just works great at encapsulating. All right. So, man, I really hope that that is picking that up. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then we're going to pull out the glitter one. Look at that green. Okay. So, okay. I know, stop. Put it in the lamp. All right, so I'm going to close this up real quick. Um, I grabbed a brush. And what did I do with it? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to use, um, this is just a little little brush just to get that excess glitter off. Not that you want to sometimes, I suppose. All right, so this one is finished. The other one's in the lamp and it will be out in just a sec. All right, so when I'm cleaning my brushes after using them for um, gel polish or paint, I use alcohol. I mean, you can use whatever you wish. I just use the alcohol because it doesn't dry out the bristles as bad as acetone does. So that's how I do that. And then, yeah, put that over there. All right, so here is the green, chunky green. I'm loving this. Okay, don't sing, don't sing, I know. All right, so I'm gonna use, this is the Dom top coat. And then I'm just going to place this on top of this. And this stuff, oh, this stuff is just amazing. And yeah, my order came in, so I'm super excited. I've got a couple more bottles of the Dom Top Coat along with the Shiny and my uh, primer and nail prep. And to think, years ago, oh my gosh, I was watching, um, oh, I can't think of her name. I want to say Susie. She is an educator, um, and I think she's in Canada. And if I remember right, she had Max Estrada with Enel Couture on her YouTube channel. And um, he, he just seems like a nice guy. But anyways, pink. Everything's pink. So I was like, hmm, that's my stuff. So I ordered it, and uh, I, didn't, I, you know, I didn't know if it would work or not. And um, I, I haven't had any issues with his products. So anyways, with that being said, this, yeah, nobody sponsors this. I just ramble. Anyways, I've got that in the lamp and then I'll be right back. Okay. So this one is done. It isn't super, super smooth. I mean, you can definitely, um, you can buff it and then put another layer of top coat if you wish. But like I said, these aren't going on anybody. So, and I'm going to be kind of selfish and I'm just going to not use a lot of supplies um I know that you you get the gist so anyways there's these two right and then this one we're gonna take that and I am trying to decide what I want to do okay so if you see these little roses and I believe I got these off of um oh, I want to say Amazon <laughs> And I could be wrong. So anyways, um, there are these little green roses, the exact same green that we're using today. And I'm just like, oh, so I'm in love with it. And then I found um, my charms. So these are, I don't know if the lighting is picking them up right. But anyways, they do match. They do work. So we're going to use some charms or rhinestones. Sorry, we're going to use some uh, rhinestones along with these little roses. And then maybe, okay, no, that's going to be another nail. Um, so here's my handy dandy Betsy rhinestone glue that I absolutely love. This is a gel glue. It doesn't dry right away and it is, it works really, really good. So what we're going to do, mm -hmm, I should have put this upside down. I say it all the time and I never do it. Okay. So I have a little idea again, whether or not it works. I don't know. So 
So I just kind of did um, just a little whoop. Yep, like a little smile line. And this would work a whole lot better if I took this cover off. And this is from um, Young Nails. So they too have amazing products. Okay, so we're gonna put that little guy right there. Then we're gonna come back. And I cannot get enough of this green. So this is just a super simple nail design. I don't want to say tutorial because it's not really doing much, but it's just a an idea for St. Patty's Day. to do a little moving around. I'm not up for that. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this one in the lamp and then, so there's not a top coat on this right now because what I've done is I've gone ahead and, um, oh, for crying out loud, glued these on and if I can get this to stay the way I'm trying to get it to stay that'd be awesome so anyways I'm gonna pop this one in the lamp and I'm gonna do 60 seconds and my rhinestones moving around again holy heck oh and there goes the rose oh my gosh Okay, so we're, <laughs> I'm going to put this in the lamp, 60 seconds. Then when it comes out, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to top coat it. And um, I'm just going to use shiny. Because like I said, with rhinestones, a lot of times you don't want to go over them with the top coat because it'll take away the shine. So I'm going to set these aside because these, I think I'm done with these. I think, I don't know. I love those green roses. And then these are... Okay, this is something different. We're just gonna try something fun here. I saw these hearts and I thought, oh my goodness. And I don't know if my nail is large enough to do what I wanna do, so we'll just get this first, first one on. I'm hoping I can do two, two of these and oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Moving right along. So I'm just going to put a fairly large dot of glue. Okay. And then we're going to take... Did I grab them all? I did. Okay, hold on. My sleeve keeps catching stuff. Flip it. Come on. Bye bye. Okay. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is like a little shamrock. So this is just a three leaf clover on this one. Okay. I'm hoping that is picking up on that. I'm going to pop this one in the lamp real quick because I think I can do another one. Okay. Let that one cure and hopefully, hold on. Sometimes these shift and I tell you what, it's not a good thing. All right, so there's the little rose. I am really liking that. I know it's kind of, I know sometimes um, less is more and this might be be okay in this case not a whole lot going on on that nail so I'm just gonna put shiny 
no white top coat. And I keep, I don't know, I'm going back and forth as to whether or not I want to use gold. I used gold in the last video, so I might just do green this time. All right, so this is coated. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know. I may have to use the rose again just because... Okay. Alrighty. So again, I hope the light's picking that up. So we've got a little shamrock and then I'm almost, what am I going to do? I kind of want to do like another, another one, but I'm not sure. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to add a couple little rhinestones. And I, it sounds extremely selfish, but when I, this is the only one I have, this little, um, I don't know what you call it. This is all I have of this one. And those hearts, I really, really love those hearts. And I would hate for somebody client-wise to ask if they could have that and me tell them no, because I used it all on a video. And yeah, that just, I know that doesn't sound nice. But anyways, that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to add some of these little ones. And again, I'm not top coating this until I take it out of the lamp. And then we will not make sure you don't cover those little rhinestones. We want those little guys to shine. Sparkle and shine. Okay, so that's that one. We're going to pop this one back in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then, okay, this one is done. So we'll put him back in there. And we'll put that one there. Okay. Now, as far as this one goes, this one, I think we're just going to have a mishmash of stuff again. Actually, we're going to put him. Okay, we'll put that one there. Okay, I, yeah. Mm -hmm -hmm. So I have to have the roses again. Ah! Okay. Um, so in the midst of looking for my rhinestones, I came across this foil. Look at that green. I love this green. So we're going to use some of the green as well. And let's go ahead and put another rose. Okay, we're going to put that one right here. Okay, and then we're going to cure that one. Okay, so this one's finished. So I'm going to pop this in the lamp really quick. I'm going to do this one for 60 seconds. Get that glue to set up. Okay, so I'm really hoping this is picking it up. It's not showing how green it is on my camera. Kind of bummed. All right, so we're just going to go carefully through. Through all these little rhinestones. Get this top coated. I don't know. Some people may go over the rhinestones. I don't, it just doesn't work for me. It takes it all the all the pretty away all right so then we're gonna put this one in the lamp I'm gonna cure that one for 60 seconds I am telling you what I'm just having a fit okay All right, so this one is set up. And then, <laughs> let's see here, what should we do? Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna put any more rhinestones, I don't think. Nope, that's not true. 
sorry, again, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. So we're just going to come down a little ways on that. And we're going to use a couple more rhinestones. Just like so. Okay. Do four on each side, and then I'm going to use the foil after we cure these. And I can see that they're trying to take off on the other side. Man, again, it seems like the lighting is just not catching these the way I would like it to. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the lamp for 60 seconds. I'm going to cure that. I'll take this little guy out. So that one's done. And holy heck, this is running again. Okay. Okay. Still my favorite glue, though. I'm not changing my mind on that one. Okay, so we're going to cure that for 60 seconds. And that is that. Okay. And then this little one, I'm just going to put on the end. And I want to say we're done. We're done with the rhinestones or not. No, we are. Okay. Sorry, just a little indecisive. I think I have one more time that I can do another set with the, um, for St. Patty's Day. So I'll have to figure that out. Okay, so this is going to be, this one's going to have some of this foil. I'll just get it out now. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a good thing this isn't a hideous color. Okay. All right. All right. So that one's cured. And then it needs a top coat. So what we're going to do is not paint over the rhinestones, just around. And then what I want to do is put some of that foil on here. Not in any certain pattern, no rhyme or reason. Just want some of that green on here. It's just pretty. So I'm gonna try and put this on as flat as possible because sometimes when you're working with foil, um, you'll get some pokey bits and those are no fun. You can scratch yourself, your kids, your husband, anybody, um, and snag things. So this I know because I've done it and I, yeah, do what I can to avoid that. Um, along with that, I also, I forgot to mention, so I'm starting to do two top coats, two, okay, hold on. The same top coat, I just put two coats on. Put it on, cure it, and then put another top coat on. It definitely um, keeps the nails shinier for longer. Most of my clients 
are, they come every three weeks. Very few of them are every two. And we have discovered that the top coat, if done twice, just lasts a whole lot longer. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this green. Okay, sorry, it's like squirrel. Okay, so I'm gonna get this on and then we're gonna cure it. And then I'm hoping that it is laid flat enough that we don't have any little pokey bits and we don't have to buff it, but we'll see. So I'm gonna put this in the lamp for 60. All right, this is, I'm actually impressed. It's very, very smooth, but I'm gonna put just another coat on. I didn't have to buff anything. So after you do that, like I said, you wanna come back in and you wanna to top coat the foil, okay? So actually, hold on, I got ahead of myself. When you put the top coat on and then you put the foil on and then you cure it, um, you might have some pokey bits, don't buff that. Put a top coat on first. See how that comes out. If it has the pokey bits, go ahead and um, buff it then. Don't buff it after you've just put the foil on it and there's no top coat on the foil because that will, um, yeah, that'll destroy it. So I apologize. Like I said, got ahead of myself on that one. So anyways, I'm gonna cure this for 60 seconds. All right, so there's the finished product. <laughs> it's got the, um, just a shiny top coat and it is actually, I'm impressed, it's really smooth. Um, sometimes you don't know what you're gonna get with foil and it can be a little rough. But anyways, with that being said, here is my second set of um, St. Patty's Day nails and just something easy, easy to do um, and green. So gotta have green. <laughs> Again, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, share, and um, I'll be back again shortly with another one. Cheers.